Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. It's Scrappin' Saturday, and this is going to be our last Scrappin' Saturday. Um, we have a couple more weeks of Flippin' Friday, but this is going to be our last Scrappin' Saturday um, for the year, and then we'll come back in January with um, something new. Um, but this is a fun one, and it starts with a six by six piece scrap. Uh, or anything otherwise actually I need my cutter um, so it starts with a six by six piece we're going to cut off one side um, one inch so I'm gonna line this up with my five here and my paper is not directional if yours does you want the five inch side you want your page to be vertical so you want to is that right? Yes, you want to put your design top here, okay? I think that's correct. <laughs> Don't check me on it. Okay, so now I am going to score this. Okay, all of the information for Scrap and Saturday, uh, inspiration from um, Cory Dahman is in the description box. I'm going to put the six inch across the top and score at three. Okay. And I have made one of these already. So I've gotten to this point and I'm, I've saved, this is the one inch cutoff. So we are going to save the one inch cutoff from this one and use it on this one. And we're going to use this one on this one. So basically, let me see. Um, I want to make this the opposite direction of the one I already have. So this is um, a, a pocket and a pocket and then a belly band. So this will go, this is the six inch. We want it to go this. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. So this one is five inches across the top, six inches down. So it, I want it this way. Okay, now I'm going to do the opposite of this one. On this one, I folded the top left and the bottom right. On this one, I want to fold this one. And I'm just using that score line as a reference point. And I'm going to, what did I do with my bone folder? I'm just going to score that down, or burnish that down, sorry. And then I'm going to flip it around and do the same thing on this side. And they're just going to not even quite touch. Okay. Burnish that down. Okay. And then I am going to take the glue and I'm going to glue the side that it goes, uh, that when it's folded is horizontal. So that means when I open it, it's going to be the vertical side. So a little bit there, and a little bit there, and then I'm going to fold those down. And if you've burnished uh, really well, that will help you. I'm going to turn it over and kind of give it the old bone folder treatment, flatten that out like so. So now I've got opposites, okay, for the page. Now, um, you can make these smaller, you know, it's up to you. And there's no exact measurement on the um, cutoff. You know, we, we used one inch, but that's not, not necessarily what you need to do. Now I'm going to go ahead, I should have inked around these before I glued them down, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges on the belly band piece so that it's easier to see um, because I'm using a coordinating uh, scrapbook col uh, paper collection. Um, you know, it'll it'll coordinate. So I am going to go ahead and ink around these. There again, this would be great with double-sided paper. I don't. Um, normally have double-sided paper unless I make it double-sided that I print um, or if I'm buying Tim Holtz because I I have a limited 
shopping here in my town. So, all right, so we've got, and like I said, these are non-directional, um, so it doesn't really matter. But if you have a specific direction in mind, it's easier without the directional. So I'm going to lay that across, and this is going to be a belly band. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm just going to make sure it's kind of, kind of, following that score line, making sure that it's centered on that piece of paper. And then what we want to do is fold up the corner this way, okay? Don't worry about this, we're going to cut it off. We want to fold up that corner, burnish it, and then I want to glue that down. Yeah, so I want to go on this piece here, about half where that score line comes out because I want that to be laying down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to flip it around. And because I'm doing this on the back side, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be tight. There's nothing worse than a, a loose belly band. Although you can fix a loose belly band if you, um, if you end up with a loose belly band, which I have on numerous occasions, I'm going to burnish this a little bit more, um, you can put a stopper at the bottom and that will help. And a stopper, uh, by a stopper I mean just like a half of a circle or a ticket or anything like that and you glue the bottom half and then when you tuck something um, in the pocket that'll keep it from falling out of your book. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to repeat here with this one, flipping it over. And I know you guys probably can't see that score line that's uh, right down the middle, but um, that's what I'm using um, to kind of eyeball the center. There again, I want to fold these, the corners. Okay, I want to glue that. Flip it around. And glue that one down. Okay, and then I'm going to set that aside for a second. I'm going to trim these pieces. Works better if you open it. Straight off. Straight off. All right, so there we have one, and you can see we have a pocket here, we have a pocket here, and we have a belly band here. Okay, let's trim these off of this one. And this one's not exactly the same, because I glued, I, I glued on the wrong side, but not that that's wrong, because it can be fixed. My pockets will just be in a different place. Now, normally, I'm not going to put these side by side on a page. I'm going to put them in two different sections of the book. So is it going to matter where my pockets are? No. This is going to go on the page like this. I glued down this side. So my pocket is here and here, and then my belly band is here. But that's okay. If I had made them at the same time, I could have been more careful about where my pockets were. But I actually... Um, made this one this way with the six inch side and that's where I got it, it's not going to fit in my book because my pages normally my books are five and a half uh, wide so but anyway this will fit this way and it'll work there's a little secret tuck spot there secret tuck spot there and then a belly band through and um, there you go so those are called did I tell you what they were called they are called corner down quad pockets because the way you want to attach this to your page is going to be back behind here and behind here so you're going to have a uh, pocket here pocket here pocket here belly band here um, you could even r run a line a line of glue on that score line and then that's going to give you two pockets and two pockets with a belly band so lots of options for this one play with it have fun and I thank you for watching, and I hope you check out Corey Dahman's uh, uh, YouTube 
channel. I have the, the link to all her uh, to her playlist for Scrap Busters, I believe it's called. Um, and I, it, yeah, she has so much more and uh, her work is fabulous. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.